The Ant and the Grasshopper by Aesop The ants were spending a fine winter's day drying grain collected in the summertime. A grasshopper, perishing with famine, passed by and earnestly begged for a little food. The ants inquired of him, Why did you not treasure up food during the summer? He replied, I had not leisure enough. I passed the days in singing. They then said in derision, If you were foolish enough to sing all the summer, you must dance supperless to bed in the winter. The End Avaricious and Envious by Aesop Two neighbors came before Jupiter and prayed him to grant their heart's desire. Now the one was full of avarice, and the other eaten up with envy. So to punish them both, Jupiter granted that each might have whatever he wished for himself, but only on condition that his neighbor had twice as much. The avaricious man prayed to have a room full of gold. No sooner said than done, but all his joy was turned to grief when he found that his neighbor had two rooms full of the precious metal. Then came the turn of the envious man, who could not bear to think that his neighbor had any joy at all. So he prayed that he might have one of his own eyes put out, by which means his companion would become totally blind. Vices are their own punishment. The Bat and the Weasels by Aesop A bat who fell upon the ground and was caught by a weasel pleaded to be spared his life. The weasel refused, saying that he was by nature the enemy of all birds. The bat assured him that he was not a bird, but a mouse, and thus was set free. Shortly afterwards, the bat again fell to the ground and was caught by another weasel, whom he likewise entreated not to eat him. The weasel said that he had a special hostility to mice. The bat assured him that he was not a mouse, but a bat, and thus a second time escaped. It is wise to turn circumstances to good account. The Bald Man and the Fly by Aesop There once was a bald man who sat down after work on a hot summer's day. A fly came up and kept buzzing about his bald pate and stinging him from time to time. The man aimed a blow at his little enemy, but his palm came on his head instead. Again the fly tormented him, but this time the man was wiser and said, You will only injure yourself if you take notice of despicable enemies. The Bat, the Birds, and the Beasts by Aesop A great conflict was about to come off between the birds and the beasts. When the two armies were collected together, the bat hesitated which to join. The birds that passed his perch said, Come with us, but he said, I am a beast. Later on, some beasts who were passing underneath him looked up and said, Come with us, but he said, I am a bird. Luckily, at the last moment, peace was made, and no battle took place. So the bat came to the birds and wished to join in the rejoicings, but they all turned against him, and he had to fly away. He then went to the beasts, but soon had to beat a retreat, or else they would have torn him to pieces. Ah, said the bat, I see now. He that is neither one thing nor the other has no friends. <laughs>